uh, Sajid Tarar. Uh, he is the founder of the group Muslims for Trump. And Ahmed Shabi Shahib, Shahab, I've had you on like 80 times. Shahab Eldon, adjunct professor at Columbia University and the correspondent for Vice on HBO. Good to have you both, gentlemen. Thank you for coming on. Sajid, you first. Why do you support Donald Trump? There are several reasons. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you that uh, thank you for having me on your show. And there are several reasons. Uh, first of all, the radical Islam uh, is, I believe, is a not only a threat to uh, Western civilization, it's a threat to Islam itself. And the uh, first, first candidate uh, who has brought it on a table uh, looked at eye to eye, and uh, he has said, um, America first, safety of America. Uh, we are Americans. We are American Muslims. And uh, it's very important for us as well. How are your Muslim, and, uh, he's re How are your Muslim friends reacting to, to this? In the beginning, it was hard, but now, frankly speaking, they are joining, they are coming, they are listening to his message, and they think he is the only one who can save America or Americans in the future. And not only this, uh, he, is, he has plans to understand Islam. He has said some, uh, several times he has said that I wanted to understand why the Muslims hate us, what are the grassroots situation, and like I told you, uh, education opportunity and a lot of other things. Uh, we are right now. We currently we don't have any foreign policy. He has looking uh, looking forward. He's looking forward to change, bring a change right. from different angles to not only geoeconomical okay. uh, on a foreign policy and Islam. All right, go ahead, Ahmed. Well, I was just going to say because he's so experienced when it comes to foreign policy, with all the years he's spent, you know, in political office. Uh, you know, you talk about Trump saving America, and you know, my question is, saving America from what? From Muslims? Muslims are agreeing that Trump is going to save America from Muslims. I mean, the messaging is, is so problematic. Trump is a man of, of many kind of uh, persuasions, Don. You know, he's uh, in many ways a xenophobic, race-baiting bigot, but he's also a very talented uh, performer, a provocateur. You know, he's managed to manipulate the, the messaging in this campaign. Here we are talking about his proposal to ban Muslims, which he's shied away from. And, you know, that's not even what matters. What matters is not whether or not he implements this policy or some of the crazy things he said. What matters is that he's managed to surprise uh, a lot of people in political and media circles uh, and actually has clinched the nomination and he's done it by, you know, being an anti-Muslim fascist, by race baiting, uh, by suggesting that all Muslims should wear, uh, you know, ID cards. I mean, if you look at this in a historical context, uh, and I don't know what to do but laugh, you know, quite frankly, he reminds you a lot of another man who was very obsessed and had a very weird uh, haircut on his face, except not on his head, on his mustache. And you, that you mean? Hitler. Yeah. Okay, so listen, I want you guys to listen to, to this, because CNN had a special report on jihad violence tonight. Uh, Fareed Zakaria was, was the anchor of it. It's called Why They Hate Us. And in the report we heard from Muslim reformer Urshad Manji, you know her, mm -hmm. uh, said, she said this about Islamist attacks. Listen. Next time a bombing or beheading occurs, and God knows it will, the first thing you will hear from the mouth of a so-called moderate Muslim is, oh, no, 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 please don't misunderstand. Islam has nothing to do with this. That's simply not true. Because most of the people doing these bombings and beheadings say that they're doing it in the name of Allah. And they actually cite verses from the Quran. So what do you say to that? Do moderate Muslims need to acknowledge the connection? Yeah, I mean, moderate Muslims are acknowledging the connection, but I, I mean, I think the problem really is, is far beyond Donald Trump. I mean, he, uh, you know, this has all preceded Donald Trump. People are surprised that he's managed to win, mm -hmm. you know, by breaking all the rules and by being a bigot and saying things that not only are not politically correct, but are extremely damaging to our social fabric. And the reason he's been able to do this is because there's been over a decade since 9-11 where this, you know, fear mongering and uh, kind of, you know, racism has permeated into, you know, entertainment, into news, into political circles. And so it's, it's, it's not surprising that his message is sadly resonating with Americans. I'm just surprised it's resonating with Muslims. I want to, yeah, I want to get.